For this question, I'm asked to find vectors that span the null space of this matrix. So I want to think about setting that matrix equal to 0, x1, x2, x3, and putting it in reduced row echelon form. So to start, I'm going to subtract 4 times the first row from the second row. So I'm just going to carry the first row through. So I have 4 minus 4 gives me 0. 5 minus 8 gives me negative 3. And 6 minus 12 gives me negative 6. And so I've cleared the first term out of the second row. Now I want to do the same for the third. So I'm going to subtract 7 times the first row from the third row. So I have 7 minus 7 gives me 0, 8 minus 14 gives me negative 6, and 9 minus 21 gives me negative 12. So from here I see that I have two rows that are multiples of each other, so I'm going to reduce this row by a factor, or reduce both rows, uh, second row by a factor of 3, and the third row by a factor of 6. And just to make things a little simpler, I'm going to go ahead and multiply both of those rows by negative 1. And I can see I have two duplicate rows, so I can subtract the second row from the third. Gives me a row of zeros in the bottom, so now I know that I'm going to have a free variable. But I want to put it in reduced row echelon form, so I want to clear that 2 out. I'm going to do so by subtracting 2 times the second row from the first row. So I have 1 stays as the first component, and I have 2 minus 2, which is 0, and 3 minus 4, which is negative 1. And the rest of the matrix follows through. So x3 is going to be a free variable. I'm going to call it t. And then x2 plus 2t equals 0. x2 equals negative 2t. And for the top, I have x1 plus t equals 0 excuse me, x1 minus t equals 0, so x1 equals t. And if I put this solution in a vector form, I'm going to pull out the t. And I'm left with that vector times t, and that vector is going to span the null space of this matrix. So. The vector 1, negative 2, 1.